So um, our, our group, um, we appreciate this opportunity to celebrate and worship God's goodness in a very unique way that God created Filipinos to be. I know that you're all aware that elements of God's greatness and magnificence can be seen in all of his creations. For example, he created nationalities very unique to each other, you know, like none of us are the same, you know. So, um, and elements of it reflect who he is, which is an equivocally worthy of praise and honor. Praise the Lord. So, uh, some form of Christianity came to the Philippines over 500 years ago. So, it is the only country in Asia that majority of its citizens would know of, not necessarily practicing, would know of Jesus. And we're very grateful for it. And despite, still to this day, despite the deleterious effects of social media, materialism, and uh, other forms of social ills that uh, cause the erosion of morality, Christianity or Christian values are still, still strongly embedded in our way of life. For example, we uh, young kids are taught to pray. So at schools we pray before each class and after. Um, it's still practiced right now in some parts of the Philippines. Um, we have to maintain joy in our faces and in our hearts despite our circumstances, otherwise we get in trouble by our parents. Um, and the other important thing too is that as a young child, as young children are taught a great amount of respect and gratefulness, particularly honoring our elders and people in authority. And we're also very grateful that that's still practiced these days. Um, and we place a very high value to our families and deeply committed to our friends and community. For example, this is practiced still in rural areas. If one of your neighbors want to move houses from one village to the other, as reflected in there, I think it's very hard to see, but the community would rally together and literally move the house physically from one place to the other free of charge so relocation people won't make money. So we, we are very community minded still and I'm still glad that I went home last month and I could still see elements of it. And we bond over food, singing, and dancing. We call it fiesta, which is a big feast. And most of all, we practice hospitality wherever we could and that's just ingrained in our culture. And I was looking at a verse that would describe how we celebrate Jesus in our culture. It's basically described in Romans 12, 10 to 13. Be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Amen. Be joyful in pati and patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, share with the Lord's people who are in need, and practice hospitality. So this morning, we will uh, we want you guys to celebrate God's goodness in a truly Filipino way, which is gospel karaoke. Who's up for it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, we are, and then we do a bit of national dance and a bit of folk dance just to show you uh, our culture. And um, we're very blessed to be uh, adopting our uh, 